Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma Inc. This is your psychic intuitive tarot reader and um, today we're going to do your April Zodiac for Aries. Alright, for my Aries, let's see what is going to happen with Aries in the month of April and onwards. We are going to extend the month because this is quarantine season so I will try to cover up most of the events that are going to happen not just in April but beyond and uh, know that this is a general reading so take it as it resonates and if you like the reading do not forget to like subscribe hit the bell icon and also do comment and uh, for personal readings you can whatsapp me or you can message me on instagram or you can uh, email me as well <clears throat> all the details have been given in the description box below other than that, uh, I'd like you all to know that I'm also going to come up with Tea Leaf Monthly Short Zodiac Horoscopes on my Instagram. So be there. And uh, I've also uploaded April Mini Pick a Card Reading on TikTok. So if you like it, you can also go and watch those channels. All right. And so we would not, not waste our time. So just bring it on. So what is going to happen with Aries in the month of April? Okay, so with the Magician card, your April month is going to be extremely, extremely popular. Maybe you're already popular and whatever you're doing, you're going to be growing in it all right so there's a lot of growth for you guys whatever you're doing some of you could be astrologers some of you could be a into occult all right some of you could be doctors as well some of you could be a scientist something that uh, requires <clears throat> a lot of mind all right and a lot of magic as well so like doing something that's related to research something that's related to research okay so your April is going to be very, very, very magical, all right? You're going to grow. You're going to be very abundant with this one. So you're going to be a winner in whatever you choose. And from you're already a winner. For most of you Aries people, you're already doing really, really well. But in the month of April and onwards, you're going to increase your efforts and they're going to reap you rich results, okay? So... I feel that there's going to be a lot of growth. All that you've been working on, you're going to reap that. You're going to get the results. It's going to pay off to you. So your psychic abilities for some of you are going to reach heights. Maybe some of you are going to get like ample number of clients, like maximum subscribers or unlimited subscribers so maybe for some of you who are already into social media or anything you're going to get more and more like unlimited subscribers like there's going to be a growth that growth will be step by step not like you know a sudden raise a sudden growth it won't be like that though but your powers are going to increase <clears throat> And also in love, since uh, we're talking about love more. Some of you could be traveling as well. Or some of you might be uh, dealing with someone where there is uh, juggling, all right, going on. This person could be a Sagittarius Aries you might be dealing with. And you could also be dealing with another Aries, Sagittarius or a Leo, all right, or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio as well, Aries. And uh, the relation between you and this person is quite on and off, all right? It's a juggly relationship, like sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not, sometimes you, you guys are talking, sometimes you're not. It could be for some of you, all right? So there is someone in, Ari, uh, in uh, April, Aries, you're going to uh, have an in and out kind of a relation all right sometimes you feel out of love sometimes you will feel in love so it will be quite in love i'm talking about i've already done the career part in love i feel that some of you aries could be in uh, playboy or playgirl energy right now you could be juggling between one person i mean between more than one options and with this uh, temperance and with this i feel that you might not be focused on one person all right this is your energy i strongly sense this 
and you might be into more than one right and uh, could be having a lot of options coming your way <clears throat> and you will be pretty um you'll be in your playboy playgirl energy i feel that not looking for a solid something solid you're not looking for something solid you're kind of juggling and you're kind of finding out which one is a better option for you this is what will go on with my aries some of you could be traveling to distant places but i do not think in april and onwards it's going to take time though i feel from 3 months 3 months from now you guys going to be traveling all right and you're waiting for the lockdown to get over so you can just go out in 3 months for some of you okay and uh, for some of you yes are you dealing with someone who could be a scorpio pisces cancer and they could be from a distant place distant country city state um this person could be uh, having different values different cultures they could be different from you so for some of you there's a beginning of relationship in which you're trying to know another person uh well you don't know, you do not know about them much and you're uh, learning about them you know it's about learning the period of learning someone new is in your life and the emotions are still um uh, on the back seat not really strong it's just a beginning of something right and you're also exploring other options all right and this person could be of a distant different kind of background altogether yes so currently this person could be your friend all right and you feel a strong friendly energy towards them so they could be your friend i strongly sense this could be someone from your social media or someone who you already know friends of friends or they could be a fwb kind of relationship as well from this i sense this so strong playboy playgirl energy i sense this you will be in you're not looking for a commitment or you're not really focusing or uh, for something solid right you're juggling between options trying to find out which one is best and with death card i feel that strong three major arcanas you're going to end this energy this energy of being in playboy playgirl on uh, nature okay so some transformation in positive sense is coming towards you because you're more in tune with your psychic ability or with your intuition you're learning you're growing you're becoming more mature and there's going to be a new beginning with ace of wands yes a new beginning is coming towards you i feel that you are going to Uh, do self searching in the month of april it's more like self it's not more like finding someone new it's more like self searching you're going to be new you're going to feel more mature you you're going to feel that you're going to see love in a very different light like in a more solid and stable light yes that's what i was saying with ace of cups i feel that you're um seeing love or your seeing relationship in a more positive light like you want to get committed now from the month of april and onwards your past energy is going to shift and transform into something very stable and grounded you'd want to get committed to someone or get married to and you want to have a new beginning altogether with someone new who you haven't met yet till now you're just looking for options and not able to find one so you're still stuck with the right match you're still looking for the right match you're looking for a deeper connection you're looking for deep sensuality in relationship and you cannot wait you're like really now you cannot wait to get committed and ace of wands and ace of cups strongly says that you're looking for something long term for something solid and immediate you want it immediately and it could be like there is a chance that you might get love struck by someone in the month of april and onwards or you might want to you know go through the feelings of um, love okay so i sense this that most of you are going to still stay single in the month of april and onwards because 
you guys have started to transform into something different that means you guys are getting more wiser more stronger more mature and now you're looking for stability or uh, an, a relationship that can offer you love commitment passion but you're still waiting for that you're still stuck and you know what you're not able to find the kind of a person or a soulmate that you're looking for maybe most of you i do not feel that you have a set um priorities or you have set criteria like i want a soulmate or i want a twin flame or i want a person like this or that all you're focusing on right now is just having to be with someone who can who you can commit with like who can give you emotions who can give you love care respect and new passion you know you want to feel all that you want to feel you want to feel the love story but you will still not get it all right you'll still stay single you've been looking for a new beginning with someone for some of you who already know someone you looking for a new beginning i do not feel like really that you know anyone that you want to be with it's just that you want to you love the idea of getting committed with someone but you do not have that person around you the kind of a person you'd like to commit because of which you're feeling failed the attempt failed you're feeling like you've lost it or you're feeling like no this is not working i'm still single i'm not able to find the true love and all that so this is what is going to happen or you're looking for a new beginning all right but you're not able to find the right person to have a new beginning with so you're pretty much stuck and you do not know which way to go so you're very confused okay but one thing is for sure that you're transforming into a man if you're a boy and if you're a girl you're transforming yourself into a mature woman that means you're becoming more responsible towards your duties towards having building a strong foundation having a family you know and uh, you know building future with someone so with king of swords i feel that you're <clears throat> let me just pull more cards for king of swords i feel that okay wow so all in all you're still positive okay although with the failed attempt of getting into a relationship with someone you're still positive in your own energy you enjoying the single energy as well it's not like you're feeling dull or you're feeling negative because you're transforming into positivity you're becoming more spiritually awakened and this is giving you a new energy you know a new passion towards work towards love towards seeing the world in a different and a more positive light so you're more positive you're more productive in whatever you're working on all right <clears throat> so whatever it is you're doing really really well with these three i feel that you're doing something that relates to traveling all right some of you could be into uh, social media you know developing uh, uh your channel's fame you know channel is getting popular and you're getting a much more uh, you know output from it and people are just loving you you're getting more and more people subscribing to you okay following your ways you know you're being an inspiration for many people the sun card shows that you're going to get popular yeah so it will be a time of popularity so but here just look at this i feel that you're not too late from getting from finding someone new in your life and most probably i feel that there's some person who will come towards you for a commitment and you will say yes all right it could be you as well approaching the person so see the bottom of the card so someone does have a crush on you or you have a crush on someone they could be younger than you you could be younger than them they could be a air sign or a pisces as well <clears throat> could be a leo you could be dealing with and whatever it is oh so here of and it feels like this ultimately by the end of this year well, let me see when will this happen the commitment this is going to happen soon though i sense that no okay so it says not right now okay so okay fine so what i get from this is that 
you know there will be someone who's going to come towards you for a commitment but you will still not want to marry them or commit to them but they are your potential partner there's someone you'd love to be with but the situation will become like that you would say no or they won't you guys won't end up marrying together but there is a strong chances of getting into a relationship with someone you know but getting married or getting in this 10 of cups energy is not really possible with someone but yes there is someone who's coming towards you and you're really overwhelmed with more than one options coming towards you you know falling for you so it's basically the cards are trying to tell you that you need to listen to your intuition okay so you might in the end say no to marriage although you'll find the perfect partner okay so clearly this says that you'll have more than one options which will get you overwhelmed or confused like which way to go because you have so many good options coming towards you by the end all right that you will be confused and you would be running away from this like okay what else do i get for my aliens okay yes I feel that there's so many people who are going to approach you that you will be overwhelmed and now you cannot take this anymore and then you will move forward and lead the situation like your intuition would tell you to stop right there and you would just back off but you still want something strong, something solid. What else for Aries? Aries, okay. Denial. Okay, maybe you will still stay in denial that no, I do not want to get married. I do not want to commit. There will be some sort of fear of committing by the end. You might get someone by the end of this year, all right, but you will still be scared of getting committed or holding on to those responsibilities that come after commitment. So you will deny that of being committed to someone all right you might deny the relationship okay and uh, there's some sort of envy around you i don't know uh, there's someone who is okay so there are many people who are envious of you so be careful of that okay and that could be someone in your relationships so be careful whoever you give your heart to or whoever you let in this will be your relationship partner who might envy you who might envy your growth all right who might uh, um, envy your status or your growth and there's some sort of fear with commitment also i sense what else what else for my aries okay so pay attention to the red flags yes there could be someone uh, you might want to commit to they might not be trustworthy in the end okay you might get committed to someone all right but in the end you might find out that this person is not honest person and this person is envious kind of a person that holds envious energy negative energy and uh, this person might have someone else also a third party situation can also develop because of which there will be some sort of emotional dissatisfaction by the end and you might leave or you might release this person could be someone from the past as well so i feel that you might find so many people attracted to you and you might offer someone a commitment as well someone you would have already known from the past but they are someone who are not to be trusted because be careful you might get a right partner but i do not feel you might listen to your intuition and might know that this person is already cheating on you or is envious of your work and you so <clears throat> although you will be denying the fact that no this person is not like that i really know them they are very good but no you need to find out all the answers before coming into the uh, this conclusion because there are a lot of red flags are going to be who you whoever you're going to be in a relationship with sooner or later you are going to either send them red flags or you are going to get red flags so there is a kind of releasing energy like you're going to release your person soon before the relationship even begins 
okay or in the beginning of the relationship so yes there will be this is the time of uh, relationships for you this is the year of relationships for you you have many options coming towards you but you might end up being with the wrong person so be careful of that okay so most of you love to write or doing something that uh, relates to writing most of you are sitting at home and indulging into hobbies like writing having fun time with family teaching doing something that is teaching even if you're doing tarot that is also teaching so you're doing something that's related to teaching whatever you're doing you're already on the right path the cards are trying to tell you the angels are trying to tell you so be happy okay what else <clears throat> not for you so again as i told you this person in love whoever you will get involved in by the end of this year might be the wrong person so be careful of that all right you might want to have a family with them but in the end you might find out that no this is not the person you might deny in the beginning that no 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 this person might be good and i'm like um uh, um uh, you know uh, doubting them of being unfair but actually just pay attention to red flags because you might have to release this person could be for some of you could be someone or you already know okay so yes yeah, so this will be an energy of most of you dealing uh, with someone already there in your relationship is a person who's showing you already a lot of red flags and have left you so you need to move forward you need to clean it up in order to be in this energy all right in order to be in a uh, relationship with someone new so basically your relationship is going to be with someone new okay and the past is need to be released for some of you who are not in a relationship yet might get into a wrong relationship so be careful of that you need to clean it up you need to clean all the past negativity <clears throat> please pull a card for my aries okay a change in the wind so again yes there's going to be a change how because uh, okay just see the bottom of the card so you're going to be in a yang energy more mature more uh, responsible person from a playboy or a playgirl to a flirty person in general to a more uh, transformed into a more responsible man or a woman so there's going to be a change of wind from the april month and onwards so this year is going to be giving you a lot of self searching self exploring self teaching you will learn more you will get more matured and uh, yeah that's it i think that okay let me pull some cards that i have made by myself okay so what do we get social media see that's what i said you most of you could be popular or doing something related to social media and something related to manifesting some of you could be into tarot some of you could be doing something that's related to occult because it re relates to manifesting with this i feel that whatever you've been doing uh, to become popular you've manifested it already so most of you have already manifested this so guys if you liked this reading okay let me just also pull out uh, tea leaf cards for my aries aries in the month of april and onwards okay family sorrow so there could be some uh, problems in family be careful of your money there's some wish maybe in relationship that was not granted so do not deny that let that go release your ex news of a new business opportunity so yeah you're going to manifest something new something new is coming into your life so that's it for you guys i hope you liked it you enjoyed the reading thank you so much and see you until the next reading bye bye